Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, we're going to continue our discussion in differential calculus practice problem. So this is uh, part 3 of our differential calculus series. So in this particular video, guys, we're going to solve some problems in differentiation of trigonometric functions. And we have four problems here. For number one, we have y equals x sine x. And then for number two, we have y equals tangent squared 3x minus 2. And for number 3, we have y equals cosine x over x. And for number 4, we have this problem. If x is equal to a sine kt plus b cosine kt, show that the second derivative is equal to negative k squared x. Okay, so we're going to apply the rules of differentiation here uh, in these problems. So once again, guys, if you are new to this channel, just click the subscribe button and then the notification bell so that you'll get notified on our future videos such as this one. So for problem number one, solve natin siya, guys. And then uh, apply natin yung mga naaral natin uh, way back dun sa mga first videos natin. So if you haven't watched those videos, just click the link sa taas. Ayan, naka-flash uh, sa screen and click nyo lang and then you will... Uh, be directed dun sa mga first videos natin. So for number one, we have y equals x sine x. So as you can observe here, in this problem, we have so yung x multiply sa sine x. So wala tayong formula for that specific uh, format, pero mayroon tayong product rule. So yung product rule natin states that yung derivative ng uv equals udv plus vdu. Okay, all of these are differentiated with respect to your independent variable. So in this case, x yung independent variable natin. Siya yung nasa baba. Okay? So, apply lang natin guys itong concept na to, yung product rule natin to solve for this problem. So, ang ginagawa natin, uh, lagi, no, naggagamit tayo or gumagamit tayo ng uh, substitution. Okay? So, identify lang natin ano ba yung u natin, ano yung v, and then, just follow the process. Okay? So, follow lang natin yung process, guys, and apply uh, the basic rules of algebra and differential calculus. Mas solve natin ang problem na to. Okay? So, magdelete you tayo, guys. So, let you. So, if you are already an advanced uh, learner for calculus, no, you don't even have to apply the substitution but for the sake of learning of course the basics and then the procedure and the process we need to do it step by step so let you so identify natin no so it's either x or sine x so it's up to you kung ano yung let you natin so either way uh, same lang yung makukuha natin answer dyan so let you natin let you equals x lang okay so ito yung u natin this is u and this is v so that is so let uh, v equals sine x. Okay? And then after that, kukuhanin lang natin yung derivative ng u and then derivative ng v. So we have derivative of u equals dx. And then derivative of v. So if you can recall, ang derivative ng sine x is cosine x. And then derivative ng nasa loob, that is dx. Okay? Again, always apply the chain rule. So, from outside to inside. So, wag natin i-disregard kung ano yung inside derivative ng inside function. So, whatever uh, your outside function is, retain mo lang yung derivative niya and then papunta ka sa loob. So, whatever your uh, function inside, you must always uh, get the derivative of that. So, that's part of your uh, term. Okay? And then after that, mag sa substitute na lang tayo dun sa formula. So derivative of uv that is just y. Basically ang uv natin is just x sine x so y lang siya. So derivative of uv that is just dy. Okay? Equals we have here u dv okay u dv plus v du. So lagay natin dito ang u natin is x. So as you can observe here u is x. And then we have here dv as cosine x. Okay? So, dv is cosine x. 
dx. So dv equals cosine x dx. And then plus v du. So v is sine x and du is dx. So du is dx. So v is sine x and then du is dx. Express lang natin with respect to x. So transfer lang natin sa kabila yung with respect to x natin. So magiging derivative of y with respect to x equals. So this is x cosine x and then plus sine x. So this is now your answer for this specific problem. Again guys, just follow the procedure and then apply the basic rules of algebra and of course yung basic rule natin for differential calculus. Okay, so ayan, that's our first problem. Okay, so next problem tayo, we have y equals tangent squared 3x minus 2. So again guys, nakita natin yung uh, exponent na 2 or squared. Ibig sabihin, we will apply the power rule here. So yun yung mga paratandaan natin kung paano natin or paano natin ma-determine kung ano yung gagamitin nating formula. Okay, so ito, gawin lang natin in the form na y equals tangent 3x minus 2 and then bigyan natin ng grouping and then this is all squared. Okay? So take note, ang squared natin is sa buong tangent uh, function, hindi lang sa 3x squared. Kasi pag wala siyang bracket dyan, ibig sabihin yung naka-square natin is yung 3x minus 2. So yung mga, mga small details na yun guys are very important. So, pag ganito yung form niya, gawin natin, okay, you can write the power rule. So, derivative of u raised to n equals, so bring down, so just bring down the exponent here. So, you have n, u raised to n minus 1. So, you subtract 1 to the exponent. And then, you have derivative of u. Again, don't forget to uh, input the derivative of your inside function you here. So that's very important. So these are all of course if you want to write with respect to x here it's okay. So if you don't want to write that in your formula okay lang din. So we have here the expression and then gawin natin, apply natin yung uh, formula. So we have so let you natin, let you because of course ang you natin is yung nasa loob noong expression where in naka raise siya sa exponent. So, we have let u equals, we have tangent 3x minus 2. Okay? Yung n natin, so n is, okay, so n is equal to 2. So, that's squared. And then, derivative of u, balikan natin, ang derivative ng tangent is second squared. So, we have here, Second squared. And then copy lang natin lahat yan. So 3x minus 2. And don't forget to get the derivative of 3x minus 2. The derivative of 3x minus 2 is you have 3dx. Okay, because the derivative of negative 2 is 0. Okay, because that is a constant. And then apply natin yung uh, power rule natin because we already have this uh, expression. So derivative of u raised to n. So that's just y. Derivative of y equals, so n, so bring down n, just 2, and then copy the inside function. Okay, inside function is tangent 3x minus 2, so copy lang natin. So tangent 3x minus 2, and then that is n minus 1. So basically, 2 minus 1 is 1, so you can put 1 here, and then we have here the derivative of u, which is ito na siya. Okay, lagay lang natin dito. So, second squared, 3x minus 2, and then times 3 dx. Okay, simplify lang natin. No? So, derivative of y with respect to x equals, so that's 3 times 2. So, combine lang natin yung mga like terms. So, we have 6, that is second squared, 3x minus 2 times we have tangent 3x minus 2. Okay? So that is now the answer for this problem number 2. Okay? So just follow the procedure guys. Okay, so let's go here sa ating problem number 3. 
So, y equals cosine x quantity all over x. So, pag naka-divide siya, guys, automatic, we're going to use the uh, quotient rule. Okay? So, recording the quotient rule, you have derivative of u over v equals automatic, yung naka-square uh, dyan is yung nasa denominator, which is v. Okay? So, v squared na automatic yan. And then, you first differentiate the numerator. Okay? So, that is vdu and then subtract natin yung udv. Okay? So, that's our formula for this. All of those are differentiated with respect to x. But uh, in the formula, I don't put over dx kasi masyado ng marami ang uh, nakalagay sa formula. But of course, in reality, with respect to your independent variable at yan. For the sake of clear lang siya isulat, I don't put uh, over dx. So, in this case, apply lang natin. No? So, ang u natin is cosine x. Yung nasa numerator natin. And v equals x. So, kuhin natin yung derivative nilang dalawa. So, derivative ng cosine x is negative sine x. So, you have derivative of u equals negative sine x dx. Okay? Derivative of v equals you have dx. So, here... Okay, apply lang natin yung formula natin. So, derivative of u over v. So, that's just dy. So, dy equals v du. So, v and then du. So, nakamultiply sila to each other. So, that is v which is x and then du which is negative sine x dx. Okay? And then minus, minus we have u dv. Ang u natin is si cosine x. So that is cosine x. And then dv, which is eto siya, dx. So dx here all over. Okay, that is all over. Yung v squared natin, which is cx. So that is x squared here. Okay, so we have the derivative of y with respect to x. So derivative of y with respect to x equals negative x sine x minus cosine x all over x squared. So this is now the final answer for this third problem. So just follow the procedure and then you'll end up getting the correct answer. So apply the proper algebra and of course the proper uh, rules of differentiation. Okay, so let's go sa ating uh, last na problem. Okay? So, in this last problem, so we're just going to prove this uh, statement here. So, sabi sa problem, if x is equal to a sine kt plus b cosine kt, show that the second derivative of x with respect to t equals negative k squared x. So, ang a dito is arbitrary constants and then si k. So, those are constants. Si k, constant din siya. Constant coefficient nung t na nandun sa loob ng mga trigonometric uh, expressions natin. So, in this case, kuhin natin yung derivative or second derivative. So, for the first derivative, i-differentiate lang natin siya as is. Okay? So, derivative of x with respect to t equals, so this is a constant coefficient. So, ikakapi lang natin yan. Okay? Copy that. So, that is a and then derivative of sine kt. Derivative of sine is cosine. So, lagay natin dito. So, cosine kt. And of course, don't forget to multiply the derivative of your inside function kt. So, derivative ng kt is k. Okay, with, that is with respect to t. So, derivative of kt is k. And then plus, we have here b. b is a constant. Copy lang natin. Constant coefficient siya. And then, derivative ng cosine is negative sine. So, negative sine kt. Again, don't forget to differentiate this uh, expression here. Yung nasa loob ng sine. So, derivative ng kt with respect to t, that is k also. Because that is a constant coefficient. Okay? So, we already have yung first derivative natin. So, let's just arrange that. So, that is ka cosine kt minus you have here kb sine kt. 
Okay? After that, kuhin natin yung second derivative. So, i-differentiate ulit natin siya. The second derivative of x with respect to t is equal to, so ka is a constant coefficient. So, copy lang natin. And then, derivative ng cosine kt, derivative of cosine kt is equal to, we have negative sine kt. So, don't forget to differentiate again the inside function. That is k. Minus kb is a constant coefficient. Just copy that. And then, differentiate sine kt. Derivative ng sine is cosine. So, that is cosine kt times derivative of kt. Okay, derivative ng kt is with respect to t, that is k. And then, simplify ulit natin. So, the second derivative of x with respect to t, k that is equal to, so k times k, that is k squared, k, so negative, sine kt, minus k squared b, that is cosine kt. And then, i-factor out lang natin yung common sa kanila, which is negative k squared. So, the second derivative of x with respect to t is equal to negative k squared. And then, we have this. So, a sine kt. And then, this is plus na kasi nag-group na natin siya. So, negative times positive, that is negative here. Okay. So, don't forget those small details because those are really important. So, plus B cosine kt. Okay? So, the second derivative of x with respect to t is equal to negative, that is negative, k squared times the quantity a sine kt plus b cosine kt. But from our problem, ang a sine kt plus b cosine kt is just equal to your x here. Okay? So, just input x here. So, therefore, we have proved that the second derivative is just equal to negative k squared x. Okay? So, ito ay final answer natin for this problem. So that's it guys for today's video. So I hope that you have learned from this. Part 4, we are going to continue our discussion. So same topic tayo, uh, derivatives of trigonometric functions. So if you're new to this channel, click nyo lang guys yung subscribe button natin para ma-notify kayo sa mga future calculus or other educational videos or engineering tutorials natin in this channel. Again, thank you guys for watching this video and see you on my next video.